Hey, it's Kathleen here, Kathleen Hannigan. Um, it's so warm here that I can put on my poncho and sit out here on the deck. Um, if you, I know that many of you are new, and this is um, a reinvention time, so I'm not writing the regular newsletter. I'm doing a video and kind of keeping everybody up to date every week, and then writing something and uh, sharing a poem. And it's, it's quieter here than where I was, and I need that right now uh, for, you know, coming clear. And I know I'm not the only one. I, I've, like, so many people that I've been working with, my own clients, and then new people who've been calling and um, wanting some help, have been telling me things like, you know, I'm just drawn to be quiet and still, and I, I don't want to really do anything. And then, you know, the, the things that I've been doing aren't a fit anymore and they make me tired and all of that and you know sort of like still the inner and the outer dilemma and just struggles about w you know what's what's all of this about this shift that's going on this change that that many of us feel I mean everybody's being affected by the shift in consciousness the, the ascension process everybody is being affected by it but many are uh, more aware and can kind of you know talk about it a bit and e even when we're talking about inner and outer we're still in that old paradigm that that polarity or duality paradigm of the third dimension and we're, we're really more and more attuning to um, a higher dimension the fifth dimension which is really where experiences of grace and surrender and unconditional love and peace and joy and gratitude and all of those uh, qualities and emotions that are that vibrate higher and, and um, you know that are certainly things that we want more of um, we are you know being drawn to that more and more and there and there's a greater need for stillness and tremendous self-care you know eating well um, as much vegetarian as you can be and um, getting out in nature writing and, and medit you know meditating or being just being quiet and connecting on a deeper level and yet you know we have to make money we have we still have these third dimensional bodies and mortgages and children to send to college and all of that and it, it, it isn't easy sometimes and I want to just acknowledge that and I, I mean I've come here just so that I can have an easier time as I'm going through my own change and all of this is so that we can shine our light more brightly and really be sovereign in our own lives, really be true leaders, each and every one of us, because we really don't have the ability to depend on the people that we thought were in charge. We, we're realizing more and more that we are. And, and so these higher vibrations are helping us and we can help get to that place and be in that place and live in that, from that, um, happier healthier place by choosing those qualities more and more choosing to serve this this big big topic that keeps coming through is how do I serve you know how do I best serve and it is really the question to ask right now um, one of the big ones and I want to say that and there are a few others and I'll be addressing those but how can I serve and in addition to that you know how how can I serve and have an exchange that you know creates a livelihood for me. Yet the making of the money and making that first is is something that's problematic. And I want to say that that it's not it's not about that. That opening the way for the abundance that we live with and we live in and that's all around us all the time and having that manifest as income, you know, as a steady stream of income, that is something that we're all learning to do in a different way. And it does demand of us um, a certain um, focus and a quieting. So I want to say to to all of you, thank you, thank you for you know following me, being with me, being a part of my tribe. Thank you for comments that you've been writing, because you are mirroring back to me what I am knowing more and more deeply, and and really starting to consider in fact only consider as I'm crafting my new work and what I want to offer you and uh, I'm not actually I'm gonna tell you now I'm gonna be sending out a 
a survey to ask you what you most need and where you're struggling. I'm going to send that out probably Monday or Tuesday. Um, so I hope you'll, you'll help me out with that. I, I really want to know what people need. And you've been letting me know, and you've been letting me know what helps. And many of you have said that the poem I read every week has been helpful. And I'm going to read one today to you, for you. And uh, it, it applies to what I've been saying today. For a leader, may you have the grace and wisdom to act kindly, learning to distinguish between what is personal and what is not. May you be hospitable to criticism. May you never put yourself at the center of things. May you act not from arrogance, but out of service. May you work on yourself, building up and refining the ways of your mind. May those who work for you, you see and respect them. May you learn to cultivate the art of presence in order to engage with those who meet you. When someone fails or disappoints you, may the graciousness with which you engage be their stairway to renewal and refinement. It's a beautiful thought. May you treasure the gifts of the mind through reading and creative thinking so that you continue as a servant of the frontier where the new will draw its enrichment from the old. And may you never become a functionary. May you know the wisdom of deep listening, the healing of wholesome words, the encouragement of the appreciative gaze, the, decor the decorum of hell dignity, the springtime edge of the bleak question. May you have a mind that loves frontiers so that you can evoke the bright fields that lie beyond the view of the regular eye. May you have good friends to mirror your blind spots. May leadership be for you a true adventure of growth. <clears throat> John O'Donohue, um, to bless the space between us. Really beautiful, calling us to serve, calling us to be gracious and appreciative and always looking toward what we're creating, the new rather than the old, and and really rising above that duality of, you know, inner and outer and realizing that wherever you are, whatever your work is in the world, you can serve. And yes, you may want to refine that and, and uh, you know, make some changes to it, but wherever you are, you can do that now. So thank you so much, and um, see you next week. Namaste.